Angela, uh, hi Dr. Morris, I've been a raw vegetarian, completely raw for two years, and the last year more fruit than like you suggest. Good girl. I have only been having a small amount of avocado per day, approximately one fourth per day. Mm. I have at least one a day myself now. My question is, what is your opinion on the omega-3 theory and do you need it? Well, I think first before you can ask these, all foods have fatty acids in them. I think it's not about more of fatty acids, more of amino acids, more of sugars, because we found when we do those things, we get sick. I think it's about metabolizing and utilizing what we do consume. And I think that malabsorption must be considered. I think that inflammation in the gallbladder and liver has to be considered when we're talking about omegas and things like this. Because man isn't meant to have fish oils. Because then, you know, we did take a look at all these things. Fatty acids. Now, I... And where we find fat metabolism problems, you tend to find neurological problems. So I recommend evening primrose oil, flaxseed. I'd rather you can supplement those if you like. So, but I have recommended a three, six, and nines before. And like I say, neurological cases like MS and Lou Gehrig's and Parkinson's. But, you know, it's really not up my alley in terms of treatment because you see that when you take your body into Wellville, all you need to do is start eating the fruits and berries and melons and the vegetables including the avocados and start cleaning out the systems getting your body's filtering and then there there is no deficiencies there is nothing because you've you fixed digestion you fixed absorption you fixed utilization and then you fixed elimination and we're finding that we have to go to elimination to start fixing all these first three so the four the four processes that your body needs to go through remember those digestion pancreas, upper GI tract, stomach, liver, gallbladder, absorption, lymphatic system in small bowel and colon, utilization, hormones and steroids, glands, adrenals primarily, elimination, kidneys, skin, GI tract. So you've got these things to always focus on to get to Wellville because if those things or any of those zones aren't working, Wellville is a struggle. The only thing I cannot let go of is the Omega fish oil. I don't care. You know, do what you want with that or the quill. I don't care. But you'll find that when you restore vitality to the cells, you, you won't need that. I have been brainwashed bad on the Omega-3 theory. And I'm, well, don't worry about it. Please, can you tell me whether we do need it? No. No, not at all. You don't see it in the jungles. You don't see it in the primates. I mean, where man is it is is taking himself so far down the line that we've grabbed to these treatment-based thinking concepts because we're looking for symptom remedies. Now you gotta love this. I can't uh, I forget who wrote these. They didn't give me uh, told me who drew these, but <laughs> I love this one. Take a look at this. People are always asking me about fish oil. Fish oil. I need to have my fish oil. I love that. One. Meat juice, fresh goop, superior health food fit for human consumption, fish oil. You know, people always tell me, I got to have my omega 3s, omega 3s. And there's so much propaganda out there. What about the sixes and the nines? Most fruits and vegetables have plenty of your omegas, plenty of them. If you feel you need more, go to coconuts, go to avocados, go to those pignolia nuts, pine nuts, where we find the high oils, or fatty acids, that's what's essential, is fatty acids. I've never cared for fish oil, and yet people get on my case, you don't recommend fish oil? No. Evening primrose, flax, something like that. I love this.